we have a neat little system in our car, depending on which one of us you talk to. Uh, it's called Teen Driver. Teen Driver is really neat. It does help parents monitor what the kids are doing in their car. So, number one, again, home screen into vehicle settings, all the way down and into Teen Driver. And at that point, it wants to know we want to continue. Again, you set up a four digit code of your choosing. And you need to remember this one because it'll get you back into the system later. At that point, we can do set up keys. And when to set up keys, when we hit it, it will tell us to put the key in the key pocket. And in this particular car, it is the second cup holder. And we know that two different ways. A, it's the emergency bypass location for keyless start. And there's a handy little key fob symbol that you can't see right now in the bottom of the cup holder. And we're not going to program a key right yet. At that point, once you've set up the key, anytime that key fob gets in the car, things will be set up for teen key. So first of all, stereo will not turn on till the seat belts are done up in the front seats. It is a weight sensitive passenger seat, so if nobody's sitting there, it does not require that seat belt done up. You also get to manage some of your settings. So you can set a maximum audio limit on how loud they can make the stereo go. You can only turn it down a certain amount. It can't be made totally off. Main reason being is some of the safety systems still use the beeping noise through the speakers. Um, teen driver speed limiter you can turn on and you can set a warning of when the car lets the child know that they've gone above the speed that you requested them not to go above. The speed limiter itself can only be set for 136 kilometers an hour and that is a maximum speed that you're allowed to pick. Other than that, when they bring the car back, here's where you get to take the car away. So it gives you everything that they might have been doing in your car. Now, the amount of things it monitors, again, depends on which car that we're in. So in certain cars like this Cadillac, it remembers a whole bunch of stuff. And in certain things like a Chevy Cruze, not so much. But distance driven, maximum speed, how many times the car was told them they were going too fast, and it counts how many times they jammed the throttle to the floor. How many times it told them they might hit things, and how many times it hit the brakes for them, forward and reverse. How many times they tried to spin it up, and that would be the wheels. How many times they pitched it sideways and the system fixed that, and how many times they jammed the brakes. Plus, finally, how many times the car told them they're just too close to the car in front of them. Most of us can agree if we had that as children, we probably wouldn't be driving still. But nowadays, you get to keep track of the little darlings that you created. So anytime you want a better explanation or to help set this up without the kids around, come and see us at the Dewey Auto Group.